All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for waiting and for uh, coming to our uh, event this good sunny afternoon in Perth. Or, or somewhat sunny. Uh, my name is Ian. I'll be MC today. I'm from Perth, Western Australia. So just a little bit about background that program lifestyle system. Uh, while I was actually heavily competing in uh, powerlifting, I was actually, uh, after competing in powerlifting, sorry, I got a little bit, uh, I guess a bit tired from counting calories and I was actually very heavily in uh, relying on caffeine to get my day started, get my day running as well. So I was actually quite intrigued by this system that uh, it's not really a crash, crash course diet. It's not so much like a, um, a diet in itself, but it's more a lifestyle uh, system to get you yourself back on track. So after doing uh, the 21 addiction, so feeling better, uh, feeling a lot lighter as well. So that's where I am right now. I'm very excited to uh, have myself and a few other speakers share a bit more about the Transitions Lifestyle System today. Uh, so today we're actually going through uh, what we call the four pillars. So like any good, any good, biz, any good uh, building requires a solid foundation as well as four cornerstones. In this business, we do um, have four pillars to ensure it's a good uh, program and good system for you and for your friends and family members as well. Uh, what we would like to do is that if you have any questions, please type in the Q&A box below. And right, while waiting, can you please let me know what this is your mind when you hear the word lifestyle? Please let me know. I don't see anybody in. Anyways, um, the first speaker I'd like to introduce is actually Angela. Angela is actually an accountant, full-time accountant, but also a TLS certified trainer. So over to you, Angela. Thank you so much, Ian. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? I hope you are well. Thank you for joining us in this Sunday afternoon. And uh, I can see there's uh, people jumping um, from different countries. So that's a good thing that uh, we all want to stay healthy, fit, and also uh, in terms of our health in this uh, season. Okay, a little bit about myself. So um, as Ian already mentioned, I actually had an accounting background and I'm currently in the finance sector. However, because of the TLS uh, lifestyle program, uh, I was able to fall in love with um, eating healthy and then uh, understanding how to exercise and uh, personally I benefit from this lifestyle program so much and I really want to pay forward so I actually get myself certified as a coach so I can help more people uh, because yeah, it has helped me so much and uh, I also had a nutrition certification um, and it, during my free time I love running marathons so I've completed um, uh, a few of them and then still to go. Okay, so the next slide is actually myself uh, before and after TLS. So if we can jump to the next slide, please. Oh, it is the next slide. Okay. Angela? Uh, I'm not seeing the screen moving. Oh, sorry, apologies for any technical difficulties, sorry. How's it now? Oh, sorry about that, everybody. I think Angela might have dropped off. Sorry about that. We'll just uh, give it a minute for her to come back on. Kitty, do you see uh, Angela on or she's dropped out? Uh, I think she's dropped off. Yes, Ian. Okay. Sorry about it, guys. Um, it's currently, uh, I think, in, in Australia, is also struggling a bit Wi Fi with the storms yes. and also everybody working from home. So I uh, just uh, give us a second. Uh, where's Angela? Well, while Angela is coming back, Hello, in, I'm back. Yeah, she's in now, I think. Are you back? Okay. Can everyone hear me well? Yep. Yeah, we're all good. Yes, I am back. Uh, can you all hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Apologies, uh, technical issues on the Wi-Fi. Right, so as you can see from the slide, um, so me uh, before and after TLS lifestyle. 
So um, what changed a lot is definitely my energy level. Um, also how I think I was quite uh, a little bit chubby in the face in, uh, at the left, as you can see. Uh, and then after till as um, it not only helped me drop some fats, uh, but also I built some lean muscle and I become a more fit person in general. And uh, so that's what uh, I'll talk about a little bit more, uh, what this TLS lifestyle program can uh, help um, all of us. Okay, so let's have a look uh, at some of the struggles that people may have, um, including myself in the past. Uh, what are some of the issues that people might struggle with weight, right? Um, I think some of the reasons on the slide might uh, resonate with you. Uh, say, for example, myself, I was really stressed out um, because I was working very long hours. I wasn't looking after myself and then not eating properly, right? And some people they might struggle with their time and then uh, don't have the time to cook healthy and all that. Um, so, yes, I hear you, right? And um, so people know that they have this kind of issue. So uh, they might try to find solutions, which uh, one of them is being diet, right? So uh, has any one of you sort of tried any diets? You can share with me in the comment box. Um, I know there are some commercial diets out there, such as Jenner Craig, some of the shake sort of diets, um, and counting calorie diets, so on and so forth. You name it, you hear it, heard it, right? Um, However, are those diets working in the long term? So if people try to lose weight in a short uh, period of time, sorry, apologies everybody. Angela has dropped out again. Um, maybe Wi-Fi. I guess if you guys can like, just type in and let us know, have you guys tried any sort of uh, diet plan before or some sort of diet program, please let us know. Or you can raise your hand or something as well uh, on the screen. Let's see who's there. Okay, so Brian has tried it. Uh, nothing has worked. So TLS is pretty cool. Uh, Sean tried keto. I tried keto as well. Um, yeah, that's true, Melissa. People, do, uh, diets do come to an end and they don't teach people how to eat. It's all about education, not so much just a quick fix, uh, which I found. I tried the like, carnivore diet one time. Uh, just eating meat and eggs, that was tough. Um, not the best for your stomach, but that's interesting. Anybody else? Hmm. Intimate fasting, okay. That's not bad. That's pretty interesting. Uh, it's not a diet, but it's like, kind of like a style as well. I think back in like, uh, in, back in, I was doing nutrition at, at university, we actually heard of the I think it was what the 27 banana diet, something like that, a 21 banana diet. You take 21 bananas every day, you, you blend it into a smoothie, drink it. Um, apparently, can, apparently people say you lose weight, but all I see is, is a lot of um, missing fiber and a lot, maybe a lot of um, sugars in one, in one shot. Well, all right. So I guess we'll just let you know that this is basically what happens as well. So it does have a massive impact on your body. So uh, while I wait for Angela, we'll just move on first. Hi, so Angela. I'm livestock. back. Oh, here you go, Angela. Okay, cool, you're back. Are you right? Yeah, yeah. Apologies, everyone. My internet um, is a bit unstable today. Can you all hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so Ian, thank you for sort of explaining why diet doesn't work in the long term. So um, now we want a lifestyle, right? We just we don't want to just fix things in a short period of time and we want to do something that can sort of carry us uh, in the future and also we can live out a lifestyle um, and all that. So now that we know that diet doesn't work, um, if we can sort of reach our goal without dieting and then live uh, healthier in long term, do you want to know how? Yes. Cool, cool. And I, I suppose that's why uh, you're here today, right? Yeah, so today, um, basically, we are uh, going to sort of give you an overview on the TLS Lifestyle Program. So TLS uh, stands for the Transitions Lifestyle System. It is a customizable lifestyle solution. And we help people with various different go goals, not just losing weight, right? And you might say, oh, okay, why, what makes uh, TLS so special? And um, 
the reason um, I think that some of the short uh, term diets doesn't work is because they teach people to count calorie. So in this program, we don't um, teach people count calorie, right? We educate people uh, how to find their next favorite food, being read to the, uh, eat a wholesome real food, and we customize um, the program in, according to people's needs and uh, their commitment level, their lifestyle, um, and their um, budget as well. Oh dear. So, I saw. Let's have a look of the um, four foundations surrounding the TLS program. Okay, so these what we call the four pillars are equally important. I really like to sort of uh, use this analogy. I uh, think about a chair. A right? chair has a four legs. Okay, so uh, you have to have all of the four legs in order to have the chair balanced. Uh, so each of the legs are equally important. Okay. So TLS is the same to ensure success in this lifestyle solution. Uh, we focus is on all of the pillars. The first one is the low glycemic impact eating. Um, this is actually a type of eating that's first introduced to um, the people, the patients who have diabetes. And according to research, because low G GI eating um, stables people's sugar, blood sugar level. And what that means is if one's blood sugar level is steady, the body does not uh, store the ex excess fat. So that's uh, also long-term science, science has proven that is a, a healthy type of eating. Okay. Um, the second pillar is the body composition. So what that means is um, we are not just focusing on the weight itself, but also we're looking at how much proportion does our body has fat, how much proportion does our body have uh, muscle? And later on, we'll touch on why is it important to have a slightly more muscle than fat, okay? Um, the third pillar is the science-based supplementation. Now, yes, it's important that we eat well. Um, at the same time, uh, we need to pay attention to the amount of nutrients we're getting. Uh, unfortunately, because of the soil uh, pollution and in the uh, uh, soil depletion and all that happening, uh, sometimes we need to also look at uh, extra supplementation to complement our um, eating, okay? So we'll touch on that a little bit detail later. Last but not least, the fourth um, pillar is the education. Um, it is very important to know, okay, we're eating this, but why are we eating this? We're doing this exercise, but why are we doing this exercise? So know that why we're doing uh, certain things and help you along this journey to uh, live a lifelong um, healthy lifestyle. Okay, so these are the four pillars. Now um, I'm going to pass on to Connie, who will uh, talk a little bit more about the first pillar, which is the low GI eating. Over to you, Connie. Thank you, Angela. You are not the only one get the benefit from this transition lifestyle system. Look at me, guys. I think you cannot recognize me if you see me five years ago. That's a before and after the TLS. So the first key component I'm going to uh, talk about is the low GI eating, low glycemic index, not index, okay, low glycemic impact eating. So why is so important? Yeah, so um, next slide, please. Yeah, you see, low glycemic impact, not just uh, the PP slide, please. The no glycemic impact eating is not just good for uh, you know our weight loss. It's very important anyway because if it's high glycemic impact, it will actually rise the blood sugar level quickly. That means we we'll keep our body uh, on a storing fat mode. That's what we don't want. But besides, actually, there's a lot of health benefit as well, like uh, promoting a cardiovascular health, uh, help us to improve our energy level, and we can react to our, we, you know, react to our stress better, especially important during this day. And also there's some uh, evidence to show that's reduced risk for cancer and, and other conditions that you, we may have when we age. So low GI foods are actually are naturally anti-inflammatory. So what is uh, low GI eating? So low GI eating, 
I summarize in eight principles for us to easier to remember. So there's about four we should do and the four we should do less. So the first one we have to eat lean protein. So what are they? Like soil, uh, like bean curve, fish, seafood, uh, chicken breast, lean meat, and most of the milk. Okay, remember that. And the next one is a fresh and no sugary food. Why is that that? Like a lot of Chinese like this banana with the black spot on the skin. No, 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 don't, don't, don't eat those banana because they are full of sugar and very little of nutrients. And other thing like berries, apple, but another thing is color. Yeah, you can eat as many colors as you like. And vegetable, the third one you have to have more is the colorful high fiber and low and starchy vegetable. And uh, legumes like cauliflower, green vegetable, peas, uh, capsicums, you know, all these color thing. Actually, those color make me happy every day. I hope you do so. But what we try to avoid is those starchy, those starchy, a uh, uh, vegetable like uh, potato, right? Refined grain product uh, such as the white bread and white pasta. Uh, the fourth one we should have is a high quality good fats such as olive oil, uh, grapeseed oil, uh, avocado, coconut oil, and nuts. You can have some of them, but not too much, okay? And the food that we should reduce is lemon saturated fat. I'm sorry to say if you guys like um, process of fast food, trying to avoid them. And also the, uh, you know, the chips, uh, potato chips, trying to avoid them because they have a lot of uh, hydrogenate fat that's not good for your body. And limits concentrate sweet ice cream, totally eliminate the soft drink, I reckon. And have three meals, please do not, do not skip breakfast. Breakfast is so important and uh, start your day with the energy that you need. Another thing you shouldn't do too much is don't eat too fast. You know, we need to eat slowly and enjoy the food you, you like. So these are the eight principles, remember, but we don't strict food good that we eat, the real food, as we mentioned before. So we don't restrict the food group. Next, please. See, we still have the major food groups necessary for overall health. We will not have to starve ourselves, but you don't need to give up your favorite food. So just remember this golden rule, so important. Protein and fiber at every meal makes losing weight no big deal. Remember that. Protein and fiber at every meal makes losing weight no big deal. So, and then when we say going to, going through the customized uh, meal plan that Angela mentioned, because this program is so flexible, you can design your own uh, weight management goal. And then there's so many different meal plans. Among all, seven day detox, I recommend to everybody because it just kickstart to receive maximum benefit for other programs that you probably would like to start with. So we will go through that a little bit more detail so let's go through other meal plan quickly. You can see the four major groups still there. Vegetable, protein, good fat, and food. Only different is probably different goal we will add different quantity of your protein. For example, uh, this one you aimed to lose uh, five kilo in two weeks. Honestly, it's achievable. I can tell you my secret. I lose 10 kilo in two weeks. Amazing, isn't it? So other programs such as, um, uh, besides the fresh shaka, we have a uh, ripen result. You can see just slightly add, you know, dairy and a little bit more protein. And the other program we have is called uh, Share and Study. Uh, again, you know, same, you can see a lot of major food group you still, you, you still can enjoy. And this program, you can add a little bit of whole grains. And the other one that I really like, and that's what I'm doing it every day anyway, uh, after I achieve my goal, that's called continued commitment. You can eat anything you like, because after this education, basically you are transitioning yourself to a healthier lifestyle with all this happy color that you will look at and you cannot, just cannot go back, honestly. So next, I will probably focus a little bit more on a detox meal plan. Why? Because 
if you can survive with this detox meal plan, I'm pretty sure you will love all the other meal plans. So during the first week, as I recommend that everyone should join this detox, doesn't matter and you want to achieve your weight loss or whatever, this is really a health program. It's a first start. You don't need to limit your vegetable, unlimited serving. And you have three serving per day of the food, uh, two serving per day of the good protein, the lean protein, uh, two serving per day of the good fat, and you drink plenty of water, like at least a cup, and I drink aloe juice and digestive enzyme that's really, really good for our body. I explain to you in a minute. And also every morning we recommend you drink half of the lemon juice in a cup of warm water, you know, to uh, alkaline your body and you feel refreshing at for the, for the start of the day. What you need to avoid during this detox week, alcohol, caffeine, you know, uh, sugar, dairy, uh, uh, soda water, soft drink, processed fast and deep fried food, and also those uh, defined grains or starchy. Why? Because we really want our liver and our organ to have a holiday, yeah? So just changing the oil, you know, inside your body. Look at the pictures, how colorful that. This is some of the uh, combination per day. You can have unlimited colorful vegetable, three kinds of food. And what protein I normally have, you can see from the picture, egg is my favorite, tofu, you can have chicken or other lean meat, fish, seafood, you can name it. Just the quantity, you'll be mindful. But after this seven day, you will find that you're cleaner and your body happier and your skin also looks brighter. How great is it? So that, let's look at some example of a day. How do you uh, eat? I emphasize so much now, eight glass of water, please, including your uh, aloe juice and digestive enzymes. So how do I spread out all this water during a day? In a breakfast, I have a cup of warm lemon water, you know, one serving of food, one serve of protein, that's eight, normally I do my omelet, and then three serving of vegetable. And a morning tea, you can mix some uh, vegetable sticks or one food. And also you can drink some aloe and some water during the, you know, in the middle of the, before your lunch. And then you have your lunch. You can have one serve of good fat, uh, such as uh, stir fried vegetable or some steamed vegetable, yeah, with some olive oil to make it a great salad. And uh, afternoon snack, you have another cup of water, two serving of vegetable, one serving of food. In a dinner, you can do your uh, favorite protein like uh, chicken breast or fish. Uh, I love fish, honestly, I love seafood. And you can probably have another cup of water before you, you, know, you go to sleep. And at that time, after dinner, I normally have my digestive enzyme that really help to cleanse my body and break down you know, any protein that I want to break down, especially after a busy day, you really need a cup of digestive enzyme to keep you going, trust me. Okay, so next one I really want to share with you. Uh, this is some of the dishes I made during my detox uh, week. I hope you like it. Uh, like for example, I have my smoked salmon and omelet with a bundle of uh, uh, you know, vegetable and um, a glass of aloe as my breakfast. And in my lunch, I have tofu uh, mixed with fish, if I remember, with the bok choy. And then at the dinner, you know, I normally have some uh, vegetable and some kind of Mr. Fry. And you know, you can name it as long as you like it. What you just remember, you know, small pinch of salt and little bit of sugar and oil, whatever you like the herbs, you know, you can put as much as you want. So I'm going to share with you, you know, one of my favorite, my favorite breakfast. A lot of people ask me to share. So, okay, I share again. Uh, this is the Super Favi omelets. So how do you do it? So easy. If for one person just need two egg, you separate your egg white and egg yolk. Okay, so you risk your egg white to triple of the size to make that uh, ice iceberg, you know, like, like a little ice mountain. And you can put over your head, make sure the egg white won't fall, then that you got that. All right, so after that, you transfer your with uh, egg yolk, gently rub into the, uh, uh, the fluffy egg white. After that, you put a little bit of oil. Uh, the my secret is a little bit of water as well, you know, on the non-sticky uh, pan, and then put your mixture in there, and then just cover your lid, 
about five minutes, what you need normally do during this five minutes, I do my brushing my teeth, you know, wash my hand, wash my face. When I come back, my breakfast is ready. And then you can add some, uh, uh, you know, what you like, uh, you can spin, sprinkle with some chow or some shallot and then some vegetable like a salad. And that you got what? Remember the golden rule? Protein, fiber in every, at every meal, losing weight, no big deal. So make sure you have the protein that is from your uh, omelet and some salad uh, come together. That's my favorite uh, breakfast. How about my lunch and dinner? I'm going to share with you, as I said to you, seafood. I can't survive without seafood at the moment, sorry. So I, I choose this time, I will use either prawns or scallop. Okay, uh, normally what I did, I just uh, find some green like gai lan, you know, Chinese uh, uh, bokkali. Uh, you can also choose those colorful uh, Swiss uh, ch crab chart. You know, they got purple, yellow, orange color, all you can choose. So how do you make it when you prepare? Uh, you prepare the sauce first. So the ingredient that's including some uh, salt, so this is a small amount, uh, garlic, ginger, but what I really like, I use orange juice or apple juice. I replace the sugar, okay? And then the coffee lime leaf, that's from my garden, and some thyme basil, coriander. If you like chili, you know, my husband likes chili, so I put extra chili for him. Uh, then I make a sauce. After that, you manually your scallop. Your scallop just use a little bit of salt and uh, black pepper. And then you can start to pay. Hit the wok first. Just make sure you put the garlic and ginger into the wok until you can smell the uh, fragrant, okay? And then add the scallop. You put it on medium heat. I think don't, don't, don't turn it on a high heat. About two minutes on each side, okay? Don't touch it, just leave it two minutes on one side and then you turn over. And then until they, you feel it firm, but don't overcook, okay? And then you remove the scallop and put it aside. And then you now stir fry your vegetable. Your, your, your vegetable have to be clean and chopped, okay? And then you can use some oil to make the ginger again. Make sure you can smell the uh, nice ginger smell and then you put on your vegetable. You can hear this kind of sound, okay? <laughs> And then you put a little bit of water and then probably you cover the lid to make sure uh, the vegetable feels softened. And then you pull over the mixed sauce and the scallop back to the pan, gently stir fry for probably 30 or you know, 40 minutes, not more than that. And then you can serve and enjoy. So hopefully you like this recipe, it's very easy. Normally about 10, 15 minutes then your, you know, your seafood dinner will be ready. You can use the similar way to cook your chicken or even tofu, it's all good. All right, this is my uh, favorite uh, dinner. How about snack? Some people ask me, yeah, I can see you've got so many because when I go to work, I normally show off my snack. So this is what I normally have, smoothie. I put all different kinds of green and ginger put to my blender and brain. And then I will have my uh, smoothie bring to work or I can sometimes I do it at the office. Sorry, I can make some noise, but a lot of people enjoy looking me to do that. And then uh, the pepper uh, walnut hummus, so easy. Just put uh, all the chickpeas, garlic, pepper, uh, tahini, and some lemon juice in a bowl and then put in a blender and, uh, or in a food processor to make a thick perry and put it in a little bowl and bring it to your uh, picnic or you know anywhere and then dip with your uh, favorite veggie sticks as long as colorful people love it you make sure you share with some of them with your friend around you okay another my favorite dessert or my uh, actually this is my uh, uh, weekend uh, breakfast uh, dr lancy's chocolate protein muffins only need two scoop of the chocolate uh, nutrition shake uh, I need to make a note there. On the, uh, during the detox week, we not recommend to add too much protein. So you can have this dessert after the first week, okay? So all you need to do is just mix uh, all these two scoops of protein shake, one egg, two tablespoons, no sugar at the uh, uh, apple sauce, a uh, half spoon of the baking powder, and then just mix them together, wait for one, two minutes, and then use your uh, little hot shake pan or different shake of pans, up to you. Uh, turn your oven, we preheat your oven uh, at 
200 degree and then put this, uh, uh, you know, mixed mixed bean mixture into the oven for 12 minutes. After that, look at the size. It just broom like a big mushroom. I really love it, really love it. And then you make your whole house so smell, smell so good, okay? And I, I hope you like this recipe. And besides that, I also enjoy making drinks, if you like me. A lot of people come to my house, I give them my uh, favorite welcome drink. That's the aloe juice with lemon and mint. And besides that, you know, the enzyme, you know, you, know, if you always have this stomach bloating issue, I highly recommend you try. If you, your uh, stomach cannot digest a lot of protein or fiber, I think you should try this uh, digestive enzyme as well after, uh, you know, two meals at least, maybe in the morning and after, uh, at, at night, at dinner time, drink one glass of it. I'm sure you will feel the difference. Other two uh, drinks that I really like because I, I'm a tea person, okay? I'm not a water person, but I have to force myself to drink a glass of water. But in between, I also enjoy my trim tea or trim coffee. Look at that. I make a um, honey and lemon trim tea. Yes, you can put some honey, but not too much, okay, into your tea. And this trim tea is very good. Ian will tell you why. And uh, the trim coffee, look at the picture. Do you know what is this? This is a hands bean coffee called Dalgona coffee. It's very popular at the moment. I love it. I have that every morning. So I hope you like uh, my recommendation. Uh, besides that, you know, I really recommend you make your uh, new lifestyle more creative, colorful, because this is another way to digest, digest yourself. Honestly, I enjoy this lifestyle. I really, I really enjoy. Hope you like it. Okay, I'm going to pass to uh, Angela to explain to you the next important component of the TLS program. Angela, pass over to you. Thank you, Connie. Wow, I love all your colorful food. They look so nice. Yeah, and at the same time, they're very um, healthy and makes people feel energetic as well. So that's really good. Now, um, the first pillar we talk about how to eat in this TLS program. The second component is is the body composition. It is important that we eat well, and at the same time, um, we because we are human, uh, we are designed to move right, and be active. In Australia, the uh, Australia Exercise Association, they actually recommend people to have average, uh, should have 150 to 180 minutes of exercise per week. So if you sort of break it down, uh, that's only like 30 minutes uh, per day, right? Um, and earlier when uh, we talk about in the overview, um, we want to have enough muscle um, compared to sort of the fat that we have in our body. And why is that? You may or may have heard this saying goes, muscle detects metabolism and muscle is the fat burning machine. So what that means is to put in lemon terms is you may have heard some people, they always say, oh, I'm eating a lot. I'm eating a lot, right? But they you probably be a bit angry, like say, oh, but you don't put on any weight, right? You, you, okay, I hear you, I hear you. Chances are is they have a very fast metabolism. Um, and what that means is they, their body digests food really quickly and the energy is being consumed uh, in the body uh, at, at the different parts of their organ. And chances are they also have more uh, muscle um, in their body. So that's why they're burning fat uh, uh, at a higher speed. Uh, and so the, the fat is not accumulating on their body. So our goal is uh, in the Tillis lifestyle is to have sufficient muscle uh, and have a, reach a good competition such that our body is having uh, transitioning from a fat burning, uh, fat storing lifestyle to a fat burning lifestyle. Okay. So on the slide, you can see in the middle, there's one kilogram of fat. Also, you can see the one kilogram of muscle. They're both one kilogram, They're, but they look so different right? Fat is in fact three times the size of the muscle, right? So um, what we're trying to do in this program is we don't really emphasize on how much weight we lose. Yes, it is important. Um, it is more than more important to look at the ratio between a fat and muscle, okay? So what, what I'm trying to say um, is if you look at the next slide, you will see, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so 
you, you'll see in the photo, so uh, there's two men on the top, okay? So you'll be really surprised. They actually weigh the same. They both weigh 175 pounds, which is about 80 kilos, okay? But then they look so different. Their physique looks so different. That's because their body fat um, is different. The muscle is different, okay? And look at the lady at the bottom as well, the two ladies' photo. They both weigh 60 kilos. And at the same time, they look so different, right? So now you will understand that it is uh, not only the weight that we're trying to focus on, more importantly is the ratio between the muscle and the fat, the so-called body composition, okay? So um, you might ask, okay, so how do I achieve a good amount of sort of muscle versus body fat? There's some exercise that would, uh, the coaches in this program will recommend for you, right? So three common exercises uh, you might heard some of them already the first one is cardiovascular uh, exercise so the common ones are running cycling and even uh, speed walking right so that's a, the cardiovascular exercises and that is good for losing fat yeah um and the second one is weight training or resistance training it is good for building some lean muscles and as we already said muscle is the fat burning machine Okay, and ladies out there, don't worry that you will become muscular uh, if you do weight training um, because the female hormone is very different to male hormone. So unless you train really, really hard or you are training to become, become a, a bodybuilder or something, you won't become muscular. So don't worry about that. And last but not least, we also incorporate the stretching and flexibility training into the program, such as yoga, Pilates, and they do amazing uh, things to our body, okay? So I hope that gives you a, a bit of flavor what um, the exercise can do wonder to your body. Um, now I'm going to pass the time to Ian to talk about supplementation. Over to you, Ian. All right, thank you very much, Angela. And thank you, Connie, for sharing a, bit more, a lot more on the uh, low GI eating. So the third pillar I'll be talking about today is the science-based supplements. So um, just letting you know that uh, one thing that we realized that as people continue to eat a lot of fruit and veggies and a lot of um, uh, whole foods is a good thing as well. But a uh, good thing is also to check that is your food actually having enough minerals and nutrient content as it was having before as well. So there's something to be used to add on. So as a reminder, this is actually on the, on the four pillars. So today I'll be talking about the science-based supplementation. So a big question you guys are wondering is on the calls that are all supplements made equal? How do I tell uh, which one is good or not? So give me a second. Oh. Sorry, I thought there's something under my screen. <laughs> Let me try to get rid of it. Oops. Thank you, whoever drew on that. All right, so in uh, the 30 day uh, jumpstart kit that we were discussing before, this is actually a program to help you, and these are the uh, supplementation supplements that we've been providing. Uh, you get in your box if you do uh, consider to start. Again, supplementation is something you add on to your uh, already eating. We prioritize eating and exercise first and foremost. So supplements is all about absorption. So I uh, think about it. If your body cannot absorb um, what is being, what you're eating, what you eat, is what you're eating actually being used correctly as well? So one thing that we found that supplements, uh, some supplements out there is that it contain a lot of binders and fillers. So what does that do for your supplements? Really, companies do that actually to make it easier and faster to produce, to make it go to the shelves, uh, either to make it more appealing to the eye or easy to swallow. Um, the third point is actually I find a bit unusual because some people find it difficult to even swallow a small pill. So the things that with fillers, it actually can impact your body health as they have similar effects to a lot of processed food, which can actually uh, hinder or block the absorption of nutrients. So today we're going to introduce you a bit more of the isotonic advantage. So the word isotonic means literally means same pressure. Iso same tonic means pressure. So with isotonic uh, uh, supplements you saw in the, in the supplement slide I showed you just now, by just by just taking it on empty stomach, you actually get ninety to ninety five percent of the nutrient content in about five to ten minutes, versus a tablet which can take a few a uh, few hours and maybe the most get 20, 30 percent. So you want to make sure that you are getting the best of the best. So this is actually one of the uh, one of the major products which I really love. Uh, you can see all the benefits here, but for me, what it did is that um, it's very powerful anti-inflammatory. So 
uh, also a very powerful antioxidant. So as you can imagine, all the stress, not just from exercising or from work or you know day-to-day -day stuff, but even stuff that maybe we eat or breathe in, your body has to find a way how to fight those free radicals off. On the other hand, it's a very good tasting. It's like, almost like drinking a, a kind of Ribena, or not Ribena, like a red wine or something like that. But on the other hand, if you do exercising, one thing I've, I found for myself, my family, and my friends, is that uh, it does help with uh, blood circulation. So I sometimes use this a bit like a, a, like a pre-workout before exercising. And also on a, on a side of notes thing that I found in my foot ever since taking it, all of my uh, flu, a lot of my uh, allergies actually went down significantly as well. So worthwhile giving this one a shot. The second acetonic product is a multivitamin. So the multivitamin is something that's actually great for overall immunity health as well. I mean, it, it, you can tell that it's getting colder and also with the current situation right now, you wanna make sure that we're all in the best shape possible. Um, why take a multivitamin? You can always take a, I mean, imagine having an orchestra playing to you. If you remove a few of the uh, band musicians or uh, people away, it still operates okay, but you want to make sure everybody's actually all, uh, all unified, all uh, working together. So the same thing goes for your body and the vitamins and minerals. The third product, which another thing I really love and it's great for my dad, is that the isochrome by isotonic. So this product is actually great for energy levels and so it supports muscle strength. Another side uh, thing is great for cardiovascular health or for a healthy heart. Um, but in this situation for the TLS, it's great for actually maintaining and supporting your healthy blood sugars. As mentioned by Connie, uh, you wanna make sure you eat foods and uh, ingredients that just promote a low GI uh, lifestyle. However, some, some cases where, say like you go out for uh, something and you accidentally eat too much, this can actually help maintain those blood sugars. Now, regarding uh, the shakes that Connie shared with some of, uh, in some of the recipes, uh, the TLS uh, nutrition shake is actually very good. Uh, because unlike a lot of nutrition shakes uh, that I've tried before while I was competing and training as well, I sometimes find them have a lot, lot, a lot of sugar and sometimes not enough fiber. So to, do, to help you with that, the TLS and nutrition shakes do help mainly for promoting fiber, protein, as well as other essential vitamins and minerals. So it's very low in sugar as well, and we don't add anything um, processed, any added sugar as well. And it tastes really good. So that's something that you can give it a shot. Another product that comes with a kit is the Ultimate Aloe. So when you get a very fast start kit, you should comes with the natural one, but I, I do like the uh, cranberry or strawberry kiwi one the best. So no, you, just, you don't only just get uh, two, over 200 trace nutrients in your body by the time you drink it. It's actually good for digestion, you have a sore throat, strength and immunity as well for this time in the um, upper respiratory uh, area. Helps with good digestion. And it just tastes great. So it's something I should drink on a... Uh, a little bit less, I just mix in some water and start drinking out of the bottle here as well. Uh, it's quite concentrated, so please dilute it a little bit. So this is actually some, this is a core products, but if you're wondering if there's anything else you can add on to this. So what Connie mentioned earlier was the, uh, the Trim Tea Trim Cafe, as well as the Acetonic Digestive Enzymes, which I'll share a little bit more. So the Trim Cafe and Trim Tea is uh, what we have here. And you're probably wondering, is this like something that's, uh, you know, one of those like uh, weight loss teas? It actually is not uh, trying to promote that way, but what it does is it helps curb your appetite and promotes a feeling of fullness because if sometimes we eat something or maybe at a time you feel a little bit, um, maybe a bit, and your energy is a little bit low, you start to eat more than you should be having. This actually has ingredients that helps promote that feeling of fullness so you don't overeat. Another cool thing is that also, again, it maintains blood sugar, uh, normal blood sugar levels and stimulates um, you know, that thermogenic effect, which is pretty cool. Very light. So, um, I like trim tea a lot because it's uh, surprisingly it's good for a cold day like this. Um, usually not a big fan of tea, but it's actually something I really like. And lastly, we have the digest enzyme. Now this is actually great because it actually helps um, break down the foods in bodies. So if you ever go to like a buffet or overeat something, or maybe you just had something that doesn't go, that's not feeling, making people bloated, this is something that can help as well to break down. So it has enzymes that actually break down a lot of um, uh, ingredients and foods, types of foods. And, you know, again, you want to strengthen your stomach because it's where your body absorbs all the nutrients. Part of the body absorbs all, absorbs all the nutrients. So this is something that actually really helps. And I always take it after any every heavy meal or if I go visit my family overseas, back in Asia, we always like a lot of the, uh, I guess, so called oily foods. This actually helps break those down as well. So that's my part. And make sure always consider that you, the health and wealth go together. And next, I'll like to introduce Kitty, who will be sharing the final and the fourth pillar which is education.
Over to you, Kitty. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, everyone um, that have shared before. I love what um, Connie has shared with the low glycemic impact with the wonderful foods and you make me hungry, Connie. Thank you, thank you. And of course, Angela's body composition in terms of talking about the importance of workout and exercise in helping us to uh, reach our weight loss goals. And of course, um, Ian's uh, topic about scientific supplementations truly is all scientific backed. And if you do research, you would understand every single one of those things in our fast has had a lot of research done. So finally, I'd like to share about the fourth pillar, which is the education and coaching support. Really, our education helps you to discover why you may have struggled to lose weight in the past. And what we like to do is to help you understand how you can actually change your behavior in order to reach your goal. So as coaches, you know, there are a lot of us here that can help you. And you can go back to the person who invited you. We teach you how to maintain your success and stay motivated. And we also have a lot of interactive tools that can help you, including what you see here, which is a free weight management profile. So so if you can go back to the person who invited you and do the profile and you can find out the best way to help you uh, do the different pillars, whether it's the, uh, what type of um, supplements that are suitable and the type of food that you would be eating. And of course, the exercises that, um, you know, the three uh, friends that have shared previously as well. Okay, the next slide. And I just like to also say that, you know, our coaches will walk with you every step of the way to keep you motivated, inspired, uh, inspired. And also, if you need to be uh, pushed, we will push you. If we need to be praised, we praise you. So it's very important, uh, you know, to know that uh, to be kept accountable is one thing that we have with TLS that you can actually rely on someone to support you. As um, Ian has already shared about the TLS 30 day jump start, it's come in two different phases. The first is the detox phase, which Connie has shared a bit already. And the second phase is the fat shredding or fat burning. And if you follow this kit, there is an amazing pamphlet and flyer that you can follow uh, to go through this month. And in uh, you know, a summary form, we generally have seen people that can lose anywhere between five to 10 kilos in a month using this kit. Okay, next slide. I'd like to share with you about a very good uh, program that we've been doing both here and all around the world using TLS Transition Lifestyle System, and that is called Get Lean During Quarantine. You know, all of us are actually during the pandemic uh, stuck at home majority of the time. So that's why during quarantine, we have this amazing program that using the TLS 30 day jumpstart, we've been able to help many, many people reach amazing results in reaching their wellness and their weight loss goals. So today I have an amazing privilege of having four of my students who have done the last TLS 30 day jumpstart uh, with us uh, through an Australian group. So we've got four people here that I'd like to introduce to share their testimonial and experience of their uh, Get Lean During Quarantine uh, campaign. So first up, I've got a really dear friend of mine, Brian Luck, who is one of my amazing students and clients, who's done really, really well. And Brian, I'd just like you to share with us your um, experience with TLS. Thank you. No worries, thanks, Kitty. Uh, yeah, I've been on the program for three and a half months now. I uh, started in February and uh, also I was very skeptical when I, before I started Kitty. Uh, I've known Kitty as a friend from church from years ago and yeah, she uh, asked last year would I be interested and I looked at the program, was a bit skeptical but uh, with a bit of persistence and she kept, kept inviting me and, and then I, I really realised that I need to consider this because really the bottom line is no other diets have worked for me and this one I thought what have I got to lose by trying it so gave it a good go and started off very conservative uh, with uh, not very high expectations and uh, the, the weight just started in, in my case as you can see I needed to lose weight and the weight just started piling off and it was just so encouraging and I think the 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 coaching uh, with TLS has made, made, made the difference really. Uh, it, it, the big problem I know with diets and weight loss is going it alone. It, a lot of people just fall away and I know I have myself and the coaching just keeps you, keeps you going. 
Uh, keeps you keeps you hanging in there. Uh, Kitty is being my coach. Just kind of knows when to push me and when to not when to hold back. Because even in the middle of this program, my dog, our our family pet family dog died, and it was it was a fairly tough time. And the the TLS kind of just got put on hold for a couple of weeks. And Kitty was very understanding and. Uh, that, that just really helped. And mm. then I was able to get back on the program and get back into it. And in the three and a half months, I've lost, yeah, pretty much 12 kilos and 11, maybe hopefully 12 centimetres around the waist, which is pretty significant. And feeling better, definitely feeling more energy. I think the supplements help. My wife is gone on the program as well and she's noticing a difference with those supplements. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been good. Uh, I've also been on the recent get lean during quarantine program, and that was really good. And another thing, uh, I really have enjoyed the 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 sense of community in 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 the group where we're all kind of in the, in the, in it together, and not just with your coach, but you've got other colleagues too sharing meals and exercises and encouraging each other, which is yeah, that, that, that's really working for me. Uh, also, just really briefly, this TLS program, there's many different programs. Uh, some people actually want to gain weight. Uh, for, for me, I want to lose weight, so that works for me. And, and I've, also, you get the choice of going on, like the short steady is not so full on, uh, but there's other programs that we can lose weight even quicker. It depends on what your needs are, and your TLS will address your needs so yeah talk talk I, I would encourage uh you to talk to, to the coaches uh, and just f try and find out a bit more about it and yeah hopefully hopefully it works out hopefully this is good for you it's certainly been good for me thanks for thanks for listening thank you brian i'm so proud of you you've just done really well and next up have um Maylene. Uh, Frances, sorry, Frances is going to be uh, next. She has um, quite a lot of uh, health challenges, yet during the 30-day uh, get lean during quarantine, she's been able to do quite well, losing a fair bit of weight as well. So Frances, on to you now. Okay. All right. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, can. Yep. Okay. Hi, my name is Frances. I joined after listening to uh, Kitty's wonderful program. And from there, what happened was that I realized that I had really let myself go and put on quite a bit of weight, but unfortunately it was actually through a spinal fusion. Originally, um, I'm a, what you would say a 45 year plan person, as you can tell, <laughs> you know, um, I was professional and then suddenly I, had two spinal fusions, eight broken bones. And um, so my mindset was just totally lost. So after the, listening to Kitty, I started to realize that the lifestyle that I had in natural fact had previously had gone down the drain. So here I am. Now, what I actually did was that I religiously followed Kitty's plan for the first three weeks. I did not eat any rice. I don't like warm water. So what I did was I filled four of my empty aloe vera bottles with a quarter or just about half uh, uh, frozen ice. And then I would take them out one at a time, put um, lemon or um, aloe, whatever juice that I could actually have without um, any sweeteners. And I also stopped taking, um, eating night snacks. I had a very bad habit, um, you know, when you actually study and so forth, you tend to, uh, you know, snack quite a bit. So I stopped doing that as well. The other thing I stopped, uh, I actually started was uh, breakfast. I always used to skip breakfast. So I now have a meals, uh, religiously around about the four hour mark, um, according to the advice that I've had <laughs> from my wonderful teachers. And, um, and that's what I've actually mainly done. 
I had also, um, originally I couldn't do any form of exercise. I was totally actually very depressed at the beginning of this year. Um, but I'm not one that actually succumbs to, um, you know, a, a life that is not, um, that would deteriorate me. So I'm so happy and so wonderful that I've actually met such wonderful people to help me, you know, thank you, Kitty, uh, to regain myself. And I hope I can actually achieve a lot more. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Francis. You are amazing. You set such a good, good role model for people as well. Okay, next down, um, as um, Brian actually already has alluded to, you know, TLS is a weight management program. That means it's not just about weight loss, it's also about weight gain. And here we have Lisa, who actually achieved her goal of gaining weight. So Lisa, on to you. Hi, everyone. Uh, Lisa here. So uh, basically for me, it was, um, I've always been petite in size. I, my weight hardly exceeds 52 uh, kilos. But after relocating to Singapore for work, I came back to Australia having lost 10% of my body weight. So I was basically 45 kilo as compared to uh, before leaving Australia at about 52 kilo. Then I said, okay, since I'm back in Australia, I get to eat my favorite ice cream. And I said, okay, let's try and do the ice cream bit to put on weight. But that didn't work. I, I mean, how do you say, like, once I finish a tub of ice cream, yes, I put on about maybe two to three kilo, but that type of weight doesn't last. It, it will be gone within less than a week. Then, um, so after hearing, you know, more about this TLS program and also about nutrition, I uh, decided to do the TLS seven days detox program. And uh, two things happened post the detox. First, I actually managed to wean myself off my morning coffee. And the second one is my weight started slowly creeping back up to 45. Uh, sorry, to 40, 40, yeah, 45, 46, and I managed to actually um, keep that weight rather than losing it like what I did before. So I guess um, my take is um, two things, I mean, like two things actually helped me, which is the TLS shakes that I took in between meals, although not every day, but the other thing is also diligently taking my isotonic supplements and the aloe juice. So that you know, my system was able to absorb a little bit more nutrition and then put, let me get back onto the weight. Yes, thank you, uh, Kitty. Back thank to you. you Lisa. So as you can all see that, you know, whoever you are, whether you want to lose weight, gain weight, or be fit and strong, TLS can help you. Now, next um, we have Mei Ling, and who's actually done really well with the 30-day jump start. So Mei Ling, on to you. Hi, everyone. My name is Mei Ling. I have been always fed since very young age. Actually, I'm very active. I also play sport and swim, but my body weight never comes down at all. And as I'm getting older, my weight increased too. And I feel my, my body getting fat and they're all fat around my body. Also, I feel lazy. Once I sit down, I don't feel like getting up or moving around. Yeah, I try some other type of uh, weight loss program, but it not work for me. And I still swim and doing a quad aerobic twice a week, but the weight never come down. So early last month, uh, which is during the lockdown period, um, Kitty started start coaching, getting um, lean during quarantine, TS, TLS in Facebook group. I was really excited and then wanted to participate this program. Since it was lockdown period, restaurants are not open, swimming pool is closed, and I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. So it is a good time for me to start at TLS 30 days. Yeah, the program starts on um, the 20th of April and with a group of uh, fr uh, people in Facebook. And um, I went through the seven days detox um, easily, felt good and lost 1.5 kilo in seven days. And then seeing um, Kitty, our coach, and others um, posting um, a healthy meal and uh, show how to eat uh, proper food, healthy food, and exercise. 
This encouraged me to um, prepare my healthy food too. During this period, um, I ate I ate um, five meals per day, which is more than normal. Okay, I have, um, but I have eaten um, healthier food and exercise over the past 30 days. When the program ended on the 21st of May, I have lost about um, seven kilos from 71 kilo to 64 kg and then reduce um, seven centimeter on my waist and 1.5 centimeter on my tights. And the amazing thing is I lost, actually they reduced on the body fat from obese 46.1 um, 46 to 36.4. Uh, I'm very happy with the result. Um, now I enjoy eating uh, healthy and he enjoy preparing healthy food as Connie mentioned. Um, and I will continue um, eating healthy food and exercise um, according to um, the TLS guide. And thanks Kitty for coaching and then um, fellow t um, Facebook members um, encourage each other. Thank you very much. Um, back to you, um, Kitty. All right, thanks so much for sharing mailing. Um, so I'll be taking over. <laughs> um, so thanks, so everybody, thanks for, uh, for sharing uh, people on the panelists as well. So those get people on a guest trying to warn, okay, how do I get my hands on this 30 day jumpstart kit to get lean during quarantine? I'm pretty interested to hear about myself. So I'd like to bring Connie back on to share a bit more about what the 30 days uh, include. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for all the sharings. Actually, you can see this program helps so many people, you know. Mm, mm. Uh, if you want to get the result, you know, we all have done one thing in common that we actually also take some supplement. In this 30-day jumpstart kit, you already have two nutrition shakes. I love, I love this shake. On an OPC, you must have, you know, the antioxidant, best of all. And then isotonic multivitamin give you all the nutrients you need, you know, for the day. And then the uh, aloe juice, what else you have this isoquam, you know, got Q10 in there and also tracking sheet and booklet, you know, all together, actually the value is exceed $400. If you buy it as a kit online, and now you only need to pay $304. Because you are so special today, we'd like to say thank you. You have a big gift. This is a chic bottle. You can carry the chic like what I do, bring it to everywhere you like. And also more, we like to say thank you. Additional 10% of the price. You're all together, you know, how much now? Only 273. You save $130 for today only, okay? It's mm, really wow. a special thank you for everybody who joined us to share our passion. I know a lot of people ask me, is it extend to the add-on product that we share? Of course, you know, today, today only, extra 10%. You know, normally, I would highly recommend you start with the detox because the uh, aloe vera and the digestive enzyme, you must have to cleanse, you know, heal your uh, uh, gut niner and also help your digestion system it's very important and of course the twin tea and twin coffee highly recommended the shake wow you can make any delicious or healthy smoothie you know baked treats or build muscle must have i highly mm -hmm. recommend you try any of them might be all of them you will love it Ho hopefully you like our presentation today uh ian what do you think you would like to try all of them <laughs> oh, definitely right now as well i'm actually very I'm actually very keen to get back on the uh, Trim Cafe because I just, um, I well, I don't drink much coffee these days, but I actually want to try Trim Cafe because it sounds, it sounds actually really nice, especially yes. during uh, the um, cold days as well. But everybody yes. here, if anybody would like to share, um, um, people on the guests who are listening in, would you like to type in and just share with us what, um, in what package, what product we'd like to try, uh, or even the 38 Jumpstart Kit, let us know we are keen as well. And thank you so much, Connie. I'm really excited as well. And, you know, the special deal with the shaker as well as the 100 something plus dollars off. Um, can't be more excited than that. All right. Thank you so much, Connie. Um, You're welcome. Thank you very much for coming. If anybody has questions, we've got two minutes left to, um, 
for Angela or Kitty to answer. So does anybody have any question? Yes, John, will... do it. <laughs> John is saying that he's going to go to do the 30 day fast start. Go for it, John. Highly recommend it. If not, then I think we can call it a day. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, Ian, I think. Um, I think sure. And OK, just to wrap things up, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you, Kitty, uh, Angela, Connie, and the panelists for sharing as well. Um, well, we'd love to hear more of your success stories. So let us know if you're actually going to be hopping onto the 30 Day Jumpstart Kit. Now, just to let you know, for next week, next Sunday, we also have another event. So we have an event called Come Spa With Me. So it's actually next uh, Sunday on the 7th of June. Uh, 4 p.m. for Melbourne Sydney time, 2 p.m. for Perth, Singapore, and Malaysian time. So there's something you want to come and learn how to keep yourself, I mean, relax. I mean, kind of, I mean it's too cold to do stuff uh, these days, going outside to do stuff or because of lockdown. But how about have a home spa treatment for yourself? So thank you, everybody. Look forward to seeing you next week. And have a good, uh, good week ahead. Cheers. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Safe. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here's one now. There it might. There you go. <laughs> oh, we've got another one. Um, um, uh, yeah, if you want to go, you can go now because there's another, uh, they've got another one on, but this one is actually a doctor talking. Uh, just listen for a minute anyway. Um, um, yeah, Yeah. Is that here? Hey? Yeah, what happened? I don't know. Oh. Uh, no idea. Oh.